It's really great to see you uh, because you've really done a lot in the business world after your boxing career and now you have a new venture which is creating the, the next direct-to-consumer butcher shop. Tell me about that. Yes, yeah, George Foreman's Butcher Shop. If you punch GF Butcher Shop, you're right in. Okay, how does it work? Well, the idea is that uh, it's the old butcher shop. I wanted to make certain after I'd done the grill, everybody was always looking for something to put on the grill. Now it's an easy family pack. You order, and it's delivered right to your door. George Foreman's Prime Cut. Uh, it's the best that you can find, the meat. And we've teamed up with some sincere family-owned uh, uh, farmers, and we're producing the best beef possible and is, other meats, too. Is this something that you were approached about, or had you wanted to do this? Always wanted to, because you can always, like I said, I did the grill, and that was really successful. And people were always asking me, especially college students, where can I get the right fit? for the grill and now we got the right fit not only for the grill but for the ovens and the whole thing okay food delivered right to your door even some of it already pre-marinated great great dishes okay so you say high quality meats we have some here mm -hmm. looks pretty good what is that well this is beef itself and you can make the little sandwiches of any sort the idea is to have a nice if it doesn't look good it's not going to sell. So you make certain you have a piece yeah. of meat that looks good. This is some of the sliced beef, beef from the beef tips. Easy and well presented. Family around. It's time for the boxing match. You start slicing and grilling, <laughs> and you're going to make a lot of friends. And, and who are your typical customers for this? Well, we want the, everyone to get on there because people followed me. We sold over 100 million of the George Foreman grills, mm -hmm. so I'd like to see at least 110 million come and get the beef and uh, the meat from the website. Okay, and you're not the kind of guy that just jumps into things because I, I read about how you looked at the George Foreman grill when you were initially approached right. and you actually said, I'm not interested in toys. That's <laughs> you weren't right. interested. Like, you wanted to do a lot of kind of research and everything before you jumped in and you didn't get in right away, correct? Not at all. It was my wife who pushed me. We put the burgers on. All of a sudden, the grease would extract the grease but the meat would stay moist and juicy and I said hmm I can take this to training camp and I did the grill only expecting about 16 for my family members little little did I know it would sell over 100 million and your initial deal was a really good deal you didn't get a lot of money up front though did you No, you don't you, you have got... to you beat the pavement you got to sell okay. and that was the greatest thing that happened to me my introduction into selling Okay, so at 45% of the profits, yeah. before you scored that big $137.5 million deal to kind of buy you out of that, you, you did really well, and so you really got out there. So I would imagine that with this project, project you'll be doing the same kind yeah, of outreach. You know, I noticed with the grill, I made more friends than I did money. And okay. at the end of the day, I was a boxer. People would bet on me and lose, and they wouldn't be my friend the next day when I'd lose to Muhammad Ali. <laughs> now with the grill and uh, with the meat, I'll have friends every day, and that's what I'm looking forward to. From an endorsement standpoint, I get the sense that you got a taste of how much money you could really make on the, from the grill, and you wanted to get a bigger stake and so you did your own thing did you put any of your own money into this venture you know your name is about all you got once you okay. put your name into something boy you are on the line put the easiest thing is to put in money but put your time and your name in that's costly and that's what i've done all right let's take a taste okay i mean you have it sitting here i'm not gonna see the most decorative piece hmm <laughs> <laughs> Mmm, yum yum. Definitely good for this summer, George. I think we're set. You know, and that's what happened. A lot of people don't know grilling during the summer and for boxing matches. Mm hmm. Get the grill out, make your sandwiches, and then invite them in. You'll love them. I was boxing for years. I was heavyweight champ of the world. I lost the title to Muhammad Ali. Lost all my friends. I learned how to grill and barbecue. The next thing you know, I had all my friends back.